Welcome to another Urban Bike and Owl review. Today I'm going to be reviewing, uh, I think this is the second beer I've had from these guys. This is from the Neon Raptor Brewery and this is their Power Move, which is a New England IPA, which comes in at, I think it's 6% this one, let's have a look. Yeah, 6%. So, nice, sort of retro-y looking can. I do like that this brewery really did sort of stick out to me when I saw their name. Because it just looked a bit zany. I mean, it reminded me of like video games and uh, just like anime and stuff like that. Just a little bit zany. So, sorry, I've got a bit of a burp because I've just finished one beer. This is my second one for tonight. So, yeah, New England IPA. I've tried a couple of them in the past. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a decent enough style. So, beer in the glass, as you can see. God, this light. Hazy, sort of like, almost like a, a wheaty sort of colour. Um, decent enough little head. Let's give it a nose. Big pink grapefruit notes on this one. Bit of passion fruit. Tiny little bit of lemon, but it's mainly like um, passion fruit and uh, grapefruit. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Oh, that's hoppy. Mmm, that's nice. So I was waiting for the finish, it's sort of building still. The initial taste you get is um, those sort of tropical fruit notes, like well, grapefruit. I don't think grapefruit is really a tropical fruit, but you're getting uh, grapefruit, you're getting um, passion fruit, a little bit of nectarine, um, and then this lovely sort of crashing bitterness comes in and just sort of like envelopes everything, um, which gives it a really nice, refreshing bite. Um, and it's it's really it's, it's got a real powerful bitterness to it as well. Um, if I mean if if I, if I didn't see the can, I would have thought this was like a double IPA or, or you know double New England IPA if that's such a thing. But yeah, it's, it's very powerfully hot. Yeah, just like a classic example of like um, a New England IPA, just lovely, big, bold, juicy grapefruit notes and a lovely bitterness, which just keeps everything interesting and um, it makes you want to keep going back for more and more and more because it is a really addictive thing. Hop, hops to me are really addictive. I mean, especially like really hoppy beers like this. Um, yeah, I'll definitely give this one a go again because it was in my supermarket, so it's easy enough for me to get. Um, it's not the best in, in its style that I've ever had, um, but it's up there. So I'm, I'm going to give the Neon Raptor Power, Power Move, I'll give that an 8 out of 10. That's a really nice beer. If you sit in your supermarket, grab it. Lovely. I'm looking forward to the, the weather now getting a little bit sort of cooler. So that's when I start sort of getting into my stouts and stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And all the, also all the seasonals that come out. Because I'm hoping to try a few pumpkin beers in, in October. Because I know it's quite a big thing over in, over in America. Where they do. I remember like years ago when I used to do reviewing. I used to get a few sort of pumpkin spiced ales in. And they were just really nice. So yeah. Anyway. That one gets an 8 out of 10. Give it a go. Take care. Cheers.